Cigar Box Nation. Guess who hasn't been in a, been here in Facebook Live land in a while? <laughs> hey, it's Shane Spiel. Thank you for joining me. Do me a favor. Uh, share this broadcast on your Facebook timeline right now. Uh, I'm going to have a little fun with you guys. I'm going to explore the EEB tuning, <laughs> something that most of you guys haven't tried yet, and you got to. But share this on your timeline right now. We're going to... Give another 30 seconds for people to um, join us, and we're just going to do some question and answer and have a little fun. <laughs> Actually in my dining room right now. I'm not down in the music room where you guys usually see me. Why? Because I've spent half the day working on my taxes and I got sick of it so I just needed to turn the camera on and hang out with you guys. Sound good? I'm gonna uh, set up my, I got my computer right here and I want to try to make sure that I'm broadcasting okay. Boom bada boom bada boom. I don't even know if it's showing it or not. Facebook, I am ready to strangle Facebook. <laughs> here. This is a three-string cigar box guitar. This was made in 2009 by Pat Cook from Arizona. He made this for me. It has a dobro cone on the inside and uh, instead of having a dobro cover, he just put holes in the top of the cigar box. But see that? Let me see. I should give you guys a real good close-up. How's that look? I've been playing this for years. Um, I used this whenever I performed with the Presidents of the United States of America on stage in uh, Philadelphia, and uh, that's somewhere on YouTube, and I've been using it ever since. As you can tell, I'm slowly wearing a hole through it right there, um, but it's holding up. This thing is great. Now, I tuned this to an EEB tuning, and what that means is the low string is an E. And I use the low E string off a pack of guitar strings. The next string is another E string. And I use the D string from a pack of guitar strings. And I put that on there and just tuned it up to an E. And the high string is a B string. Tuned to a B. So you have E, E, B. Now, if you've ever played two string cigar box guitar, and you tuned it to a power chord, it's basically what this is, except with an extra bass note. So imagine we took this low string off. We would have an E and a B string here. Hear that? A nice little power chord. And then I added the octave below to give that nice bass rumble. Now, this seems like a really basic, a really stupid type of tuning, but what I found was the, the extreme low of having a low E string and the high of having a high B string gives you that spectrum that you would hear in like a, a regular... Um, standard guitar. You have a nice low, you have something in the middle, and something high. Now whenever you get into fancy fingering and stuff, you can... This is my song, Tattoo of You. So 
it just, um, this is a very special tuning to me, and every time I pick up this guitar, I get more and more ideas, and it's because it's not tuned, you know, to your standard G, D, G, open G. It's something completely different, and it racks your mind. I'm going to check my laptop. I have a laptop in front of me, kind of behind this camera, and, uh, yeah, it's still not showing that we're broadcasting live, but... I can see you guys on here, so we're cool. <clears throat> now, if you turn on some distortion with this, you have the nice lows and you have the nice highs with it. So there's a lot of different things. Um, we use this tuning on a couple different songs of mine. Uh, when my band plays, we use it on, like I played Tattoo of You. Whatever happened to the guy that played the One Finger songs? Glenn Watt. Somebody just asked about that. I'll get to that in a second. Remind me about the One Finger songs, okay? EEB tuning. We use this for Tattoo of You. Also use it for my song Mother Leads and it's another song we use uh, this this tuning for is one of the strange covers that my band does. Now, I'm from York, Pennsylvania, and the one band that broke out of York, Pennsylvania and made it big in the 1990s was the band Live. Now, they're friends of ours, and they used to come see me perform at this little dive bar in downtown York. Uh, they'd come there and just hang out. Well, Chad Taylor, the guitarist, uh, challenged me to do one of his songs on Cigar Box Guitar. And I don't know if you guys have Live's album, Throwing Copper, but there's a hidden track on the end, and it's sort of a country song. It's my favorite song of the album, so that's the one I decided to cover. Um, usually when you cover a song, you choose something that the audience knows. Well, we chose something completely obscure that it was a damn, you know, hidden track. But uh, for the song by Live is called Horse, and we do it on the EEB tuning, and it starts at the third fret, which would be a G chord. <laughs> You know, and so on and so forth. EEB. This is something you guys should try out. If you have a cigar box guitar sitting around, um, check it out. Because uh, it has, like I said, has the nice lows, has the nice mids and the highs. Okay, I'll get back to this in a second. I do want to address what's been going on with Facebook. Um, last year, we were doing broadcasts. It started out every day, and then it was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And when Christmas hit, we had to scale it down, and now we're not doing normal broadcasts. There's a few reasons for this. The main reason is simply because of what Facebook has been doing. They have been changing their algorithms, which... Uh, means that no matter how many people we have subscribed to our page, um, Facebook kind of throttles it. They hide it because they want us to spend extra money over and over as sponsored content to get you guys to see it. So in other words, you subscribe to us, but Facebook is hiding from you. So if you want to see all the Cigar Box Nation content, do me a favor, go to the Cigar Box Nation page here on Facebook, and uh, if you're on your desktop or your laptop, you will see at the top of the page where it says liked, and then you'll see this, the, uh, a tab that says following, and if you click on the tab that says following, click on where it says in your news feed, click on see first. And if you click on C first for the Cigar Box Nation stuff, 
Facebook is going to be putting that on your timeline uh, more often than you've been seeing it. So just a heads up, it's just their scam to try to get uh, little businesses to shell out more and more money. The other reason we kind of stopped the, the broadcast was um, CB Giddy, our main sponsor, once Christmas hit, he just had no time to do any of it. And then I was helping him out, and it just, time got crunched, and we couldn't do as much. Uh, we're planning more broadcasts for you, and we're looking into possible other ways of broadcasting other than just Facebook. Okay, I wanted to answer one question. Somebody asked, what happened to the one finger guy? You're talking about Glenn Watts' one finger lessons where Glenn would get on there and show you how to use one finger and play songs with just one finger. And he showed you Summer of 69. He showed you Hotel California. Well, you know what happened? We put those on Facebook, and um, Facebook started threatening us with copyright violations. We had to take those down simply because there was some guy showing you how to play a song um, so that's kind of what we're dealing with the best content you're gonna see bar none is to go directly to cigarboxnation.com because we've been putting stuff up there um, and to go to cigarboxguitar.com that's kind of our sister site and that's our library our archive where we put a lot of stuff there too so check both of those out all right let's get back into this if you're just joining me, my name's Shane, and uh, I'm playing with an E-E-B tuning. E-E-B. And you use um, a low E string, a D string, and a B string. So you basically skip the strings in a pack of regular guitar strings, uh, E, D, and B, and then you, ch you tune them E, E, and B. <laughs> And there's just so much. This is this is a lush tuning. a YouTube video on Tattoo of You before, and you can look up Shane Spiel, How to Play Tattoo of You, but I'm going to give you that, uh, that lesson sort of condensed. Again, right now, you guys are sitting around, you want to watch, you want to get a riff or two and put it in your back pocket. Let me give you this riff. It is so easy. Trust me, the songs I write, if they were hard to play, I wouldn't be playing them. Trust me, the stuff I play is easy. It's just all in the attitude. Tattoo of You is a song that was first released on my album, 12 Stones. I'm about to come out with a brand new album. It's called These Frustrating Blues. It is the best of, of my solo albums. Look for that in about a month. I'm putting together, I don't know if it's going to be a Kickstarter or just some special launch. Um, there's going to be guitar slides. There's going to be a lot of cool different things going on. Tattoo of You is going to be on there, but let me show you how to play it right now. E-E-B, and this is a two-finger song. The main part of the song is played with just two fingers. The main riff of Tattoo of You is... I am letting the middle string ring out. I am not fretting it whatsoever. My fingers are only fretting the low string and the high string. Let me see. I'll get that camera angle. There we go. That's a little better. See that? My fingers are, I have the, the uh, index finger on the fourth fret, low string, and my middle finger on the fourth fret, high string. And we're going to let that middle string just ring out. So, 
the camera out, boom, boom, and like this. The one thing I love about this is when you hit that fourth fret, I don't know what chord that is, but it's got that sort of seventh or, I don't know, diminished or whatever the name is. I've never learned music. That just, it just has that pretty lush sound. So the, the riff goes. And then it goes here to the second fret. And see, all I did was second fret, the same two fingers, same two strings. And then I let off my middle finger. I'm going to tune this up a little bit. This guitar is going out of tune. I haven't changed these strings in about two gigs. So I've got a gig this Saturday. If anyone's in Central PA, I'll be in Marietta, PA at Pig Iron Brewery. Uh, and I'm going to have my full band with me. Let's see, get in there. There we go. The other song I do on here is Mother Leads. And that's a kind of a fan favorite because it's a driving song. It's a blues song with non-blues lyrics. Uh, the lyrics are about the Jersey Devil. I wanted to pick a subject that was totally far away from my baby dumb left me and everything, you know, just the usual blues standard, and I wrote about the Jersey Devil. But that riff is... That sounds cool, but there's nothing to that lick. Okay, all I'm doing is this. I'm starting at on the high string, and I'm at the fifth fret, and I'm going to the third fret, and then I'm pulling off. Let me open up this camera angle a little bit. And then on the same two frets, I'm on the middle string. Three, five, three. This song there's nothing to these these riffs um it's all in how you bang them out i think what the key to this song is is um the percussiveness of the way i pick it and that goes back to me being a drummer in like junior high and high school uh so a lot of the riffs i do now I'm treating the guitar like it's a drum, you know? So that's that's Mother Leads. Trust me, there's not much to it at all. But you see my percussiveness. There's a reason this guitar is getting worn out right here. As I'm hitting it, I'm just slamming right down onto that guitar. Luckily, these old Macanudo boxes were made of plywood. So this still has probably another decade until I wear, my, wear a hole through it. Maybe even longer. Um... <laughs> But um, I, I first got this idea for this tuning from C6 Steve. C6 Steve, uh, we, we had a lesson on um, Cigar Box Nation on how to make your own C6 Steve guitar and how to tune like it. And what he does is he does G, G, and um, 
uh, B. So it's it's kind of like one one three as either way. So this one's a little bit similar to that. The C six Steve. If if it were in in an E tuning, it would be it would be E E E E G sharp. And this is kind of like what C6 Steve would be doing. Where is that? Yeah. That's a very C6 Steve type of um, uh, playing. He does the percussive thing too. And then... All right, but let me get back to EEB. That was kind of a side set. Sidebar. All right, let's crank this a little bit. it check this try it out at home eeb um just take one of your cigar box guitars and restring it like that again we're dealing with a low e string a d string from your regular pack of strings and a b string and then just tune it eeb hold on one second don't go anywhere i'm sitting here and as i'm talking to you my dog is farting like crazy now she's begging to go outside I'm going to let my dog out, and then I'm going to come back with you guys. This is live, baby, live! <laughs> you know, if your dog is farting, you better let her out. <laughs> so, there we have it. The other thing I like about this EEB tuning, and we've been doing it a lot lately uh, when we do Mother Leads in concert is whenever I go into my ragas, uh, I can do some really cool stuff. Here it is. The reason um, the raga sounds so good, especially in this guitar, is it's got this dobro cone in there, which makes every note snap. It's that dobro snap to it. And then if I add Indian ragas over top of it, it gives me that. that one up. So, sometimes the guitar speaks, to, you know, for itself too, and when you got something built like this, Dobro Cone, um, to, you know, in this tuning, it just, it's pure gumbo magic. 
So, uh, let me see. I'm going to check messages one more time here. Uh, da -da -da. Again, Facebook has been driving us crazy. They keep changing things, which is why you don't see our content as much as before. Make sure you go on uh, facebook.com slash cigarboxnation and at the top where there's a tab that says following, make sure you click on that and um, what is it? Uh, click on the option C first and you'll see our posts first, which means on your Facebook timeline, you're going to have less politics when you see us first because you're going to be getting cool guitar stuff. <laughs> tuning check it out guys thank you for joining me i know it's been a while since since we've been you know broadcasting but uh we're gonna get back to doing some more stuff the other thing i have planned is i've got about 30 guitars to hang in the cigar box guitar museum at spiel's tavern out near new alexandria it's my dad's place uh you guys have sent me guitars to be part of the museum those need to get hung up and I'm planning on going there in the next month or two. And when I go there, I'm going to film that. Uh, maybe even do a live concert from Spills Tavern at some point. So, thank you for joining me. Check out CigarBoxNation.com. We've got some great stuff there. Thank you to our sponsor, CB Giddy, C -B -G -I -T -T -Y uh, If you guys ordered anything from Giddy this week, I just wanted to let you know that uh, they're up in New Hampshire and they've been getting pummeled with snow. Usually CB Giddy gets their orders out within 24 hours. If you've ever ordered from them, you know how fast things arrive at your doorstep. Um, I can tell you that things may take uh, an extra day to get to you than usual because they're dealing with on Monday they were closed and I think this afternoon they may close early. Um, so, But that's just simply because they're dealing with snow up to here right now i uh, love those guys love you guys thank you for joining me my name is shane spiel learn more about me at shanespiel.com and uh go try the eeb tuning i'll see you guys